Hello, my name is Simon and I'll be demonstrating how to make a spread plate. A spread plate is a method of making a uniform layer of cells that can be used for a variety of assays and tests. So the things that you're going to use are an overnight culture of your uh, bacteria of interest. You need a micropipetter and micropipette tips. And you also need glass beads to spread your inoculum onto the plate hence the name spread plate. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the volume on the micropipetter uh, to the desired volume. We normally use anywhere between 100 microliters and 200 microliters depending on the inoculum itself. So I'm going to set it to 120 and carefully I will insert the appropriate micropipette tip trying to keep the others as sterile as possible. And with it, I will collect my inoculum from my overnight culture. Um, always remember to flame the neck of your test tube and carefully insert your micropipette tip into your culture to collect your sample. Now I have my labeled um, clean agar plate ready and I'll inoculate it by simply dispensing my sample onto the surface. And here are my glass beads which have been previously sterilized. I also want to flame this to keep them as sterile as possible and you want to dispense anywhere from 5 to 10 beads onto the plate to evenly spread your inoculum on the surface so I'm just carefully gonna drop them on the surface careful not to um, make them bounce out or make our inoculum splash so now making sure that your plate is sealed, is closed properly, I'm going to shake the beads off and if you see closely, I'm spreading my 120 microliters of inoculum evenly on the surface. You want to make sure that the beads are colliding against one another and going all over the surface to get as much area and as uniform as possible. And now that I've gotten a uniform layer of inoculum onto my plate, I'm going to carefully dispose of my beads onto a dirty bead container. Make sure they're all on the bottom on one side of the closed plate and just carefully Shake them off, trying not to contaminate my plate. And now my spread plate is ready. Thanks.